Hi everyone, so in this uh, Shopify tutorial, we're gonna learn about this. Okay everyone, so in this uh, Shopify tutorial, we're gonna learn how you can add an Instagram feed to your Shopify store in 2020, all right? So I'm gonna add my Instagram feed for this uh, Instagram account. So make sure you're logged in to your Instagram account that you want to share on your Shopify store. So in my case, I'm logged in as Raw Natural Life. All right, so we're gonna go and add the Instagram feed right here at the home page. Okay, so to do this, just go to your back end of your Shopify store. Now go to the left sidebar to this one, click on apps. All right, go to this one, click on visit the Shopify app store. All right, search for Insta feed, like so. And we're gonna use this one Insta feed, Instagram feed. All right, click on that. So here you can uh, have a look on what you will get. You can also read the reviews. Okay, they got the free plan, which we're gonna use. And you can also go insta feed pro or insta feed plus okay so to install this we're gonna click on this one add app after that go and click on install app All right, so now we need to connect our Instagram account. So just go to this button, connect, click on connect an Instagram account. Okay, so now we need to authorize this uh, application. So hi, Mint Studio is requesting to do the following. Access your profile info, username, account type, access your media, caption, media account, media type, media, URL, permalink, timestamp, and thumbnail. So if you agree to this, just click on authorize. Like so. So now we can see a preview right here to the right. All right, so now we can add a feed title. So leave empty if you don't want the title or already have one, okay? So just add a title. Like so. And now you can see we have a title, my Instagram feed. You can do post spacing. So we can do 1%, 2%, 5% or 10%. So let's say I want to have 5%. Click on save. Now you can see that we have a space between the images. All right, so let's choose post spacing. So I will choose maybe 1%. Then we got on post click, open pop-up, show product, open on Instagram or do nothing. Okay, so I'm gonna choose open pop-up. Number of rows. So right now we have one, so one row. You can have maybe two rows. And we have number of columns. So one, two, three, four. Maybe you want to have three rows. Click on save. And now you can see that we have two rows and three images. And if you want to have more images, you can just maybe add another row or number of columns. So it will be two times three equals six. So we got six images. If you add two and five columns it's gonna be 10 images all right so make sure to save this and to add this to your home page in the shopify store just go to the left uh, sidebar click on online store go to themes and after that we're gonna go and click on customize All right, now go to this one, to the left sidebar, click on add section. 
Okay, so now go to this one, Insta Feed app under Instagram feed. So just click on this one, Insta Feed app. And now click on Add. All right, now go to the top right corner, click on this one, Save. And this will add the Instagram feed to the home page. As you can see, we got the title, my Instagram feed, and we got six images. If I click on an image, you will see the caption and the user. All right. So we can also customize these images. So we can change the heading font. So we can change from the regular one. So maybe this one, Americana. Go down to this one. Click on select. All right. To see the changes, you need to go to the top right corner again, click on save. And this will load the Instagram feed. Like so. So now we can see that we have another heading font. We can also change the heading size from 10 to 30 pixels. Like so. So if you want to have a bigger heading size, you can choose 30 pixels. Click on save. Like so. So now we have a bigger heading uh, size. We can also change the feed width from 100% to 50%. Click on save. Like so. So now we have smaller pictures. And if you have the knowledge, you can also add a custom code. Okay, so when you are satisfied, make sure that you have saved everything right here in the top right corner. Click on save. And after that, we can go back to the back end. And we can go and have a look. Just go to this one, online store, and click on this I. And now we can see at the home page our Instagram feed. All right. Okay, everyone, so this is how you can add Instagram feed to your Shopify store in the home page in 2020. I hope this helped. Okay, everyone, so I hope this video helped you out. If you like this one and want more of these videos, you can subscribe right here in the corner. You can also check out my latest video right here. Just click on this image, and I hope you have an awesome, awesome day. Take care and bye.